crypto market is now getting massive attention as Bitcoin bursts through $40,000 and goes about Berkshire Hathaway, you know, that's a big deal for the market. Because if you understand this correctly, Bitcoin is above 40,000 first time since May 2022 and gold is at the all-time highs. So very few had called out the correlation between these becoming the safe haven when your currency is getting hit hard. What's next? Altcoin is showing you this. This is the altcoin market, excluding Ether, showing you this. You broke higher, you're gonna look for a big movement. Small caps are gonna run crazy. You will watch them doing 5, 10, 15 X while the actual market is running higher. If you are ready to change your life, it is now. You will see assets with fundamentals, strong projects running crazy high this time around. And if you have been in the market for a couple of years and you've been accumulating assets very, very much, as much as possible, this time you are going to be rewarded. People ask, okay, Bitcoin is above 40,000. I agree. But what is XRP doing? Why is it not running high like some of the other coins? Look at what we are doing right now. Look at what this asset has gone through before it popped. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world. Thank you for each and every one again for smashing that like button. And the last video was like 100% like with way more in terms of like percentage. I'm really, really thankful for all of you for smashing that like button. Now, when you go to the market, I would say anticipating the market is something important. This was October 24th, not a long back, but a lot of people had the idea this is going to happen. This is what followed. On November the 1st, I told guys, okay, we did that. We told this pattern is going to play out. And it did play out. It broke higher. Then we gave a target of what? $40,000. Now, what the hell are we watching? $40,000. So the price action is showing you something, which if you can read through that language, it gives you an enormous advantage. SI family, 775 plus members are taking benefit of that. If you would like to have that benefit on your edge, looking at all of these assets individually, one by one, going through them, knowing where the breakout comes in, knowing where your targets are, then follow this link in the description that leads you to Patreon where you can join the 775 plus members of the SI family. Now, Let's look at XRP. Most of us who have been holding this asset, I'm watching some of them are getting irritated, some of them are getting frustrated. Yeah, there is a reason. We are all human beings, we'll get that. But watch this. Are you breaking that trend line, jumping down? No, we are still abiding by that. One. Two, your MACD is trying to cross to the upside and has not yet done that. So yeah, you may have to wait a week. Sure. When Bitcoin went up, the MACD and the RSI agreed. MACD crossed to the upside first and then RSI entered the overbought territory. When the RSI entered the overbought territory, it was around 28,000. It went all the way up to 35,000 in that one leg up. Now it is entering back into the overbought territory. The MACD agrees. So something is going to happen there. Money is going to flow into Bitcoin. Agreed. When they slow down, that's where you see large cap altcoins bursting through. So for XRP, your RSI is still here on a daily. Which means from that 52 level, you now have to go up to 70 to get massive movement. Which means in between you will see small leg higher. 
say 0 0.7, 0 0.8, that kind of fluctuation is going to come in the next two days, two weeks. That kind of gap is going to be there. While others are popping through because they have already entered this region. That's why I told you, look at that table which I gave you guys for the digest. This time, yes, the digest is a little bit bigger comparing a lot of different assets, 30, 35 assets, if I remember correctly. As soon as I complete it, I'll drop it in the group. But if you understand that correctly, you know what's happening in a lot of these assets. That's huge. Say, if you look at, say, if you want to pick audio or hot, say, holo, just take one asset on a daily time frame and then ask the question, what is it actually doing? If you look at the MACD, the MACD has already crossed to the upside. Now, people are waiting to see daily entering the overbought territory. That's your first signal which will pop. Now, yes, it is showing you this signal which is a breakout, retest and a bounce that is going to come soon. You're watching the three days closer to re-entry into the overbought territory. So it's showing you a bull flag. You go on a weekly and you're like, whoa, we haven't even entered there. We have some space. So this is something which you have to keep in your mind. You can pick any asset you want. Now, we go back to XRP. Look at XRP on a three day because we just talked about it on a daily. Here, we are still at what level? 59. That's not a bad level. If you zoom out historically and ask the question, about 60 on a three day, we are super bullish. So we are almost close. We are this close to starting something big on a three day chart. Then you step back, you go on a weekly chart. And you're like, okay, where the hell am I right now? We're close to 58. On a weekly, whenever the price was running higher, crazy, what was that level? It was close to 59.60. So when the RSI on a weekly is 60, you're watching price bursting through each and every time. Now we are close to 58, say 57.71 to be precise. That means you're this close again on a weekly. Now, then the next question comes in like, okay, how long do I have? That's where you go on a monthly and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We are long way ahead. We are going through something huge. If we have accumulated this asset for this long, you are like, okay, let me see this come to test this range, break that range and pop here. That is exactly where you will watch the top coming in. But yes, you'll have to watch for the divergence because it shows you when the price is going like nuts and the RSI does not agree, on a monthly, that's a red flag. Take the profits and run as fast as you can. This is going to be something which we'll have to practice, literally practice in your portfolio. Otherwise, you're not taking profit. When the market is running up like this, you will watch certain groups of assets, certain segment of market doing extremely well. One after another, you'll see the market moving money through, rotating money. Now, when you come back onto the altcoin market as a whole, understand while the Bitcoin runs like this crazy, a lot of people would still be in disbelief. That's where I told you, like, you know, watch the weekly, watch the monthly. As soon as the monthly closed like this last time I gave you my word, December is going to be something big. You're going to watch this. RSI on a monthly is still here in Bitcoin, 61. And above 60, it is crazy, crazy, crazy level of bullishness. So you have that 60 towards 80, 85 range where you will see it becoming a bubble territory. I agree. At one point, it is going to become a bubble. But historically speaking, that bubble is way far ahead from where we are. So it's not 40,000. It's not 50,000. Most likely, it's going to be around 80 to 90 or 100,000, where you may actually reach this level of resistance, which is a historically high point. But do you really think that it's going to be one leg to the upside reaching there? Mm, I would argue no, most likely not. You have the one, which is not a bad deal. So we'll actually look at it like this. One, we're going to do the two, we're going to do the three. So this is something I am personally watching it. So that means when you're going up, Retesting these ranges, 
you are going to see massive movement of money moving from Bitcoin towards the altcoin. And during that time, you will watch assets popping through. Right now, the assets which are highly correlated with Bitcoin will be popping through. So any asset which you think is running up, go back, ask yourself, okay, it's running up, but why the hell is it actually running higher? If you have a question, so you are like, okay, I don't want to go with that small cap. I want to come closer towards, say, medium cap. Then you're looking at this range. Say, if you want to pick up uh, Stodgy, you go up, they, you take in Stodgy. You're actually going to look at the monthly and you're like, whoa, there's a long way ahead. When we had the breakout, I told you guys, watch. This was like way back. I told this is a buy zone and I'm now looking back at that and like that was an exactly great call. We came back down there, we bounced off. So why is that happening? This is something you and me need to keep in mind. If the market shows you something, you don't want to go against it. You don't want to go against it. You're not getting close to a support, which is fine, which is good. That's on a daily then you go on a weekly and you're like, you just entered the overbought territory. That's where you have seen big pops in the price action. So that means this has a long way to go. Maybe you are here. Maybe you are here. But still, you have another big thing coming. And when that comes in, you want to see whether you're getting a divergence. Maybe it's on a three day. Maybe it's on a week. But you'll have to closely follow the price action to understand what it is showing you because for xrp the first move is like 0.7 then 0.9 and at that point we want to see rsi entering overbought territory on a daily chart and if we do the same thing on a three-day chart within a week that's where we can say huge money is being poured onto this that means in a couple of weeks, you're going to see the exact same thing on the weekly. And in a month, this one is going nuts. But right now, you should have some level of patience. Bitcoin is rallying. It's taking a lot of attention in the market. You're watching Ether coming at a level which it has not seen for a long period of time, which is going back to that terror Luna crisis. So terror attack of crypto. Because that guy did do that. He go. He just went to Busan, Korea and took all the money. And then all hell broke loose. So now when we are looking at the market, this is what Ether is showing you. If you go back in history, do you see something similar? There's something I really want to ask you guys. If you don't, let me know what do you think. What do you actually think about this? Say, if I'm personally looking at this, I would put the argument that this range, now that was not a great line, let's make it like this. Say, you did this consolidation, you broke higher, you retested that range and you started moving up. Mm, a great bear market, accumulation, rise to the upside, that's a break of accumulation and retest, and then the mark up phase, which... I think is almost exactly what's happening here, but a little bit of difference. The accumulation was crazy. It was not going down, it was going up. Each time you were coming back down, the lows were higher than the previous ones. Which means, whether I like this asset or not, the market is saying, hmm, they like it for some reason. So the market matters. The market matters. That's why... Learning the language of technical analysis is important. If someone is speaking in German or Spanish and you don't know that, it's your problem. They are still trying to communicate with you. So here we are trying to look at this and it's like, okay, I'm breaking higher. I'm retesting that and I'm bouncing off. And while it's bouncing off, this is your RSI. On a daily, you are re-entering the overbought territory. What do you think is going to follow? That's coming. Now, while that plays out, look at the weekly. Where is the weekly RSI right now at? Historically, you go back and you see, okay, during these times, you see the price going up. During these times, you see the price going up like crazy. That's something really big we are watching.
right now in front of unless there is like you know world war three literally a world war three atom bomb blasting left and right this is not going to go back it's going to go higher most of the bad news which we got during this time hit us hard whereas this was that binance news think about it for a second guys not the ftx news here during last november this is binance news so in a bull market, your bearish information was neglected by the market. And that's how crazy the market is. But we are part of that market. We are trying to learn what the millions of other people on the other end is doing. This is their reaction. So if you are putting an equation sitting out there, trying to understand their psychology, <laughs> good luck. But the market is showing you a reverse market crash is coming here. For some reason, we are going to go through the roof the price action is going to be really interesting from here if you are prepared if you are well prepared you're going to be rewarded extremely well if you accumulated the asset which you really believe in for like last two three years your time is getting so close you'll have to take profit at one point don't just be a bag holder thinking xrp is going to go to a thousand dollar ten thousand dollar that kind of hypers They'll push you to that narrative so that they can still take profit at $10, $15, $20 and dump on you. You don't want that to happen. Yeah, you can keep 5, 10, 20% for the long run. If it really pops through that, let us take the profit. But most likely that's not the case. You may actually see the price gaining to a $10, $15, $20 range for wave two. Then you'll see the price dropping 50, 60, 70%. People on the other end will take profits. You want to make sure you also join that party. If not, what happens in the market is general. Those who come at the last point buys it from those who are selling to take profit. So they came way early. They had to wait all this time. It was so bad. Patience, discipline was hard. But now it's a payoff time for them. So decide who you are going to be. Are you going to still wait on the sidelines? Or are you someone who has already doubled in and now popping? Yeah, that's all. Now it's your time. If you went through this in the market cycle, now position yourself. Look at the assets individually. If some of them are still trending lower, that's a concern. Remember, you go back into multiple assets. Say we cut out this one way back, right? When it broke to the downside here, we went out of it. We moved to another asset. We recouped all the losses there with some profit. We made it there. Now, from that point, if I'm looking back, the price is still down 50% from that point. Which means the decision which we took in the SI family was great. So all these members in the SI family had the benefit of watching what I was doing with my portfolio. Which asset I cut out, which asset I moved into, how I reclaimed that losses and made it into a profit. Now in this cycle, just like this last time, you have assets doing this with high level of fundamentals, but breaking through a macro support level that is like, it doesn't look good. So make sure you understand each and every assets in your portfolio, at least 50-60% of it should be trending higher. That's how you're going to make it in this bull market. So guys, if you received value, smash that like button. And if you're looking for these kind of updates, join the 775 plus members and the SI family. It's going to help you massively. We'll go through the one-on-one -on -one session talking you through what I think your portfolio looks like and what I think you may achieve in this bull market. So that's it for today, guys. I'll meet you on the next video. Bye for now.